I just didn't grow up on that. So like when you miss a certain era of music, certain yeah. shit don't hit. Like I ain't gonna hold you. Like I grew up on that Jeezy. It's certain Jeezy that I listen oh, to, and yes. I'd be like, damn, like if I wasn't forever. you know in that time or in yeah. that era. Like yeah. I might, I might not be able to really appreciate it. I got memories yeah. with this shit though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But you know yeah, what? Bro. You know what I noticed though about like just like listening to music, like going like going further south, or like kind of being on Mason Dixon and then like going up north with shit. Like up north, like y'all. Like, it's, like, two separate lanes for, like, niggas. I feel like down south, and this is, like, to my understanding about Boosie, like, if it was a nigga that was rapping, he was rapping about the drug shit, he was rapping about the street shit, and rapping about the sex shit. Like, you was listening to him do all three. Boosie get freaky on the I'm track. just saying, though, like, you was listening to, uh, what's that junk go? Eat what's that junk go? How that junk go, Speed? I won't say, you ain't trying to be mean, but I'm trying to get in them jeans, girl. Like, you listen to that, and you listen to, uh, Father God, I've been betrayed. Yeah. Turn, don't feel like they beat me like a slave. Yeah, hey, you listen to all that I do. Beat me like a slave is crazy. It's more passion down <laughs> south in the music, bro. You know what I'm saying? Up north, it's yeah. more like flashy shit. Yeah. I just ain't never grow up on it, so that outside of that, uh... That's not his joint. What's his joint? Wipe Me Down. That was like the that's only a, yeah, song I, like I heard from Dog oh, oh. until I got to the league, though. But that's, that's when Boosie fight. went, went uh, industry. Well, he ain't never went industry fully, but, but yeah, that's when he... Yeah, yeah, that, that Wipe Me Down song, will put him... Though, huh? yeah. yeah, that Wipe Me Down will put him on the radio. Yeah, cool, for sure. For that's sure. cool. I'll be having to push Because mixtapes was going crazy back then. That was Lime Wire. You burn your own shit, bro. Lime Wire. Bro, look, look. That was a playlist. That was the first way to make a playlist. Shout out to the little mommies out there working in the gym, getting their waist a little smaller, man. Come on, man. Winter time working for, hey, the, for the summertime plan. That's what I heard they man. do. Yeah, I mean, heard the summertime. I mean, the wintertime is the grind. Yeah, man. That's what they say, man. Okay. Welcome to another episode of The Trenches. Hey. Yeah, man. Give me a little, yeah, man. Give me a little, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Give me a little, yeah, man. Give me a little. Yeah. I am your host, Zaire Franklin. Join here with the full gang today. It's always hey, a good day. Always. When we got the gang in the building. Always. Jada always pull up with the shot, so the energy is always on the hey, right man. Always on the right She caught us in the all season. It's always. Up. Yeah, she caught us in the all season. She's taking advantage. <laughs> yeah, she, she got us in the all season. She's taking advantage. She's taking advantage. Let's okay. check it first. Miss Jada. The waiter. What are you How doing? How we doing? Okay, we rap snacking it. I'm okay. bashing these yeah. chips. These bitches tell the good. Oh, yeah. 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 Hard. What's those? The little babies? Mm-hmm. Sheesh. Hey, man, look, them rap snacks home. Yeah, shout out to the rap snacks. Why they saying baby fell off, though? That's crazy. Bro, we going to get to that. I want, I've been oh, waiting to talk about that. Hold on, let me get we right get to, to it. That. NFL okay. star EJ Speed. Yeah, man. The kid that did. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? The kid that did. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. K-I-D-D, by the way. Uh, the kid that did. Yeah, oh, he said K-I-D-D. And we trademarking. He said double Ds. I don't know what he got going on. And we trademarking. That's my man, though. I'm cool. Hey, shout out to my man to my left. I got his back. He got my front, my brother. What's up, baby? Hey, man, look, I think I think it's time, bro. You know, we, we've been going for a minute. I got to do my own drop. They don't understand. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Back by popular, popular demand. demand. Yeah, we yeah, need it. Yeah. We need it. Shout yeah, out to the production team. Yeah. We got Brian in the building. <laughs> Shout out B-Money. Brian, we're going to get into Shout him out. We, Shout him out. We know your Packers love. Look. I understand. <laughs> Packers? Look, Brian, look, look. Hey, I was totally on the way. Look, over there. I started there. Shout out to Bram. Shout out to Bram. Shout out to, Bram. Shout out to Dylan. Shout out to Ian. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look. It's funny. I pull up to Philly this past weekend and shit. Okay. I text everybody. I text my boys. You know, I'm trying to go out get drinks. You know, watch the game or some shit. I say, hey, look, is y'all in that fuck the NFL mode? Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, when you lose that next week, you like, man, I don't even like football for real. Like, fuck, fuck the league. I, shit rigged. Yeah, I'm next, <laughs> next year. Yeah, the fans, you know, the refs ain't even doing this. They, they don't even call it. I'm like, look, is y'all in fuck football mode or is y'all willing to come out and enjoy festivities and watch the game? Because, you know, I'm cool either way. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm fresh out. For sure. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you only get a week of that. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, because they was back off the Philly. Yeah, 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 man. Philly fans are yeah. some greasy, man. Shout out to the Eagles, though, but. Uh, except that one dude, but um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, but uh, mm-hmm. hey, man, let's man, we gotta check in, man. It's been a little man. while. Yeah, bro. first of all, Miss Jada ain't been in a bit. Miss Jada, can you please check in? Can you tell us how's it going? Let us know Shout what's out been to the going tech. Yeah. Shout out to basketball, how's work, how's life? I actually uh have a question for you since you are here and you speak for the female delegation when you're in town. Mm-hmm. I was just going to ask: Is it okay for one of your friends to talk to? a guy that you had dealt with before. Let's just say mm-hmm. you and this guy had maybe went on one or two dates, no sex involved. Mm-hmm. Went on two dates, text a couple times, a lot of hard eyes on IG, a lot of heart this, a lot of, a lot of late night FaceTimes. 
Mm. Nothing really came from it. A couple years go by. He like one of your homegirls. And I'm talking one of your homegirls. Not best girl homegirl, but she one of your homegirls. Homegirl come to you and say, hey, little whoop de whoop. One thing led to another. Me and homeboy, he said he liked me. I came to holler at you. Respond, please. For the female <laughs> delegation. You know what? I respect that you came to me. <laughs> but uh, I just feel like. Ooh, shit. Mm. Ooh. Be honest. America's listening. I think we got to answer. I say yeah. hell no. Like, I just feel like, because I'm very much a person, like, what's mine is mine. What I want Ooh. is mine. What used to be mine. That shit definitely still mine. Ooh. So, no, you can't fuck with anybody that I even remotely, if that motherfucker had my number, no. So we any was, man that got your number could no, never talk to any no, of your friends. No, that's not true. Because I'm definitely a wingman for the single guys only on the pod. But <laughs> no, if we was like on that, like we late night FaceTiming. No, but y'all never did anything and never. Yeah, no. But if it was like serious, like we talking and like I done told probably my homegirl about you enough to her to come back to me and be like, hey, look, Jay. He, he trying to... Uh, uh, uh. Now, if it was something like I just totally was not interested like in that way and we was literally just like cool, like having casual conversation maybe, mm. but like, nigga, if we was flirting and shit, we on the phone at nighttime? Oh. Yeah. No. You're damn I near my I personally mate. think that's cap. I think it's selfish <laughs> and I think it's bullshit. Not as selfish. It might bro, be. my whole thing, bro. Oh my God. Women, I mean, we are territorial. Long, how long are you going to lay claim yeah. to men that, you, that you've that you talked to? That Like, how long? Like, how yeah. long is it? I plead the fifth Forever. on that one. Wow. Forever. Forever. I guess until they married. Mm. Hey, speed. Bro, speed. speed. That's a long speed. time. But thank you for no. advancing the conversation. Because once you get the ring, that was about to be my next question. Yeah, thank that's you. facts. That was about, that? That? about to be my question. That's facts. Do you care? Would you care if you were married? Oh, no. No. Yeah. So if you were married, it wouldn't matter who tried to talk to. Honestly, you know what? No. Okay, let me go back. Oh, That's the whole goal. Let me go back. Thank you, because even if I'm in a relationship and like I'm, then I'm not, girl, do what you want to do. I just feel like it's kind of some weird petty shit. Like one of my homegirls would never try to fuck with a nigga that I fucked with. Yeah, so that's, let me just bump for Jada. Okay. Uh, from the women that they spoke on it, they just typically say that's just weird energy yeah, amongst weird. girls, amongst <laughs> the girls. Yeah, like uh, if I told you about this man, why would you be <laughs> entertaining him? But my thing is, you didn't want him. Yeah. So why can't you know what I mean? One man's trash, one woman's trash is another woman's. And he trash may not be trash. I just didn't want him. Right. So, so but but my homegirl can't have him either. That's that's. that's I'm, not, hold on, wait. So this, not fair. so this is what that's I am gonna fair. say to you though, and like kind of like in the same situation, kind of dealing with men though. I did see recently like it was a best man at a wedding that dated the wife. Whoa. I seen oh, that shit on Rick Instagram. Rick. Oh, hell hell and bruh made a joke about bro. it. Like, what's up with you, bro? Nah, that's like, nasty. what's really yeah. good with you, bro? You like yeah. the fact that joke? No. Yeah, no, bro. Yeah, like yeah. the fact he, that your man, your man's. Your <laughs> man's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you like the fact that joke? Shut up, I know somebody that like that's it. Nasty. No. Okay, yeah. swinging it to speed. <laughs> speed. Quick little. One of your homies, he was dealing with a little joint, you know what I mean? A couple years, you know, back in the day. You know, two, three, four years go by. She stripping now. Ooh. Do you pull up and support her cause? Please Ooh. respond. <clears throat> With the butt plug. Was he? <laughs> yo, 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 hey. Please. So, so, bro, so it's my man's. Life. It's my man's lady. Now she's stripping. Yeah. I pull up to the strip really, club. You, you and dog, y'all don't really talk like that no more. Yeah, I fell out. But y'all was cool. You know how men is. If you, I, I got homies that yeah. like shout out, shout out to my other homie Tim. We grew. We went the middle. I don't. I ain't talked to him in three years. But that's my dog. If we pull up, we get True. drinks. as love. You nah, I ain't gonna. If I was on the market, I like clean situations. So like, I just be like, Shotty, move. I ain't saying. Week. I'm saying, do you just you pull up to the, the strip cause? club and just see her? <laughs> just for her? Nah, hell no. Nah. You, you just throw gotta money? be in town. Nah, my man's introduced me to her. She totally off limits in all situations. Like it's so many females. You out don't here. throw money to pay her rent. Nah, oh. there's so many females out here. I ain't even dealing with Shotty. Like, ah, what up? Yeah, you know. Woo. It's a fact, speed. And then it's that, and then it's cool. Man, and I'm a bro. slide Honorable over man, here. Bro. Yeah, no, it ain't. Stand it ain't. Up guy, I'm bro. saying, though, but hold on, though. Say you walk in though, and shit just that's Coretta going. If I walk in, I'm just lit. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, and then you just see her like she. You ain't even know she had nah, it like my that. Real oh, shit. 
She destroyed one. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. My real nigga, my real nigga senses get the tingling. Nah, and I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I'm dead. So serious. Are you gonna speed, leave? Speed, speed. Yeah. I ain't leaving. Let me we set the scene. Are we on speed? Let me, yeah, then hold on. Hold speed, hold on. A speed cabin. Then look, cause look, you, they done, they done checked you at the door. You done yeah. got your ones. Now they, I tell all my hoes, hey, break it up, huh. break uh-huh. it down. Yeah. What else? Bag it up. So you, uh-huh. and you big money. So he's gonna stop going mid. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. You stop me doing that? I'm in chilling, huh? Hey, hey, huh? That's my. Mads lady, I didn't. What up? Salute. Woo woo. Uh, you gonna so salute you, her? But you gonna stop, mid? Yeah, like it's salute. Mid, like, 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 he's saluting her in look, the strip club. I'm not stopping. I'm not acting like I don't know who Shawty is. Okay. Okay. Right. Tim, but you feel me? The strip stopping. club ain't that, you feel me? It ain't that crazy to where you hooked on one Shawty just cause. That's a you know fact. what I mean? That's a fact. Like, right, I'm throwing right. bread. If she happened to pick up a one, then that's her. But, like, you feel what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't really just directing it towards her. Right. Like, she, she a homie at this point. Up. Okay. All she right. in a section. Even if even if my mans and her, like, fell out on some beef shit, she's still just a homie. Like, mm-hmm. And you ain't throwing it's, no ones at it's her. It's way plenty. And, her, it's, and it's, it's doing it's what it's doing. It's plenty more in there without, without okay. any, uh, any ties look, look, and any fuck shit look, to look, it. Look, I know, look, but look, you know what, though? I ain't gonna hold you. Hold on, look. I respect you. If Speed said it's law, and I'm standing by. It's you know law. That's a fact. That's my homie, and I'm standing by. That's a fact. That's a fact. Okay, we at home. We didn't play. Nothing for us to talk about, specifically. I was home. I enjoyed myself. I slept in. Yeah. I wasn't in on Twitter for the week, so all y'all hate tweets. Everybody they be tweeting me. So shout out to the little. I was telling Tim about this. I mean, <laughs> God, like Jesse. dealing with fans, bro. It's just the only thing is, like, <laughs> now, I, I had a fan tweet me, I, and this honestly, I ain't gonna say this got me off of Twitter because I was already on somebody. Look, I needed to just step away and all that. For sure. Saying fan tweeting me, I ain't, I ain't. Look, I've been following Zaire for two years. Uh, you know, I started the King Slayer movement. No, you didn't. Uh, he never re- re- responded to me. He never interacted with me. Hold on, what is the Kingslayer movement? You know how when I hit Derrick Henry, I quoted it and said Kingslayer. Oh, John, okay, wait, 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 wait. He was like, yeah, he never interacted with me. I'm done with him. I'm AR now. Well, oh, first of all, we're on the same day, buddy. <laughs> well, first of all, me too. <laughs> Turn my, my profile picture to Anthony too. So. <laughs> what are we talking about? Are we on we on the same team. Yeah, so let's God. start there, buddy. I swear to God. Two. Good riddance. Like God damn, we off the rip. I ain't gonna lie, I sure I'm my feelings. I ain't gonna lie, I did. I was That's like, what I'm about to say. Like yeah. just like that. That's they what said, I was fuck like. you because you didn't and you didn't see a tweet. You didn't I, I ain't gonna like lie. Like oh. trust me, bro. Like it's a weird, weird, weird situation to be in because okay, you know we play this game. You know what I mean, Speed? We we putting in work. Obviously, when we came in, we underrated. Mm-hmm. The whole time, we want to be the man. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. whole time, you want to be the guy. You get what I'm saying? So you do everything, not for the fame or for the notoriety, but to an, exi- to an extent for the position because that's what you know you're capable of doing. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a fact. But there's things that come along with that. Yeah. Now, I'm going to speak for myself. I have an assumption but I'm going to speak just for me. I never cared to be famous. Though. Like, I never cared mm-hmm. for everybody to kind of know. Like, it actually makes me very uncomfortable. Facts. That's a fact. Like, I'm, I, you now, now listen, I'm, maybe it's the North Philly in me, yeah. you know, pulling up to a, 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 a situation, a function, yeah. whether a restaurant, function, a club, and everybody in the building knowing who you are, that shit yeah. made me a little uncomfortable. I feel like niggas about to line me in that joint, bro. I don't mm-hmm. know. I, like about the schedule, but it's something to come with it. Now, shout out to my big brother B Wax. I remember uh probably like my second year. Uh, we at we in Seattle, I'm training. Uh, and I'm gonna let you go speak because I want to hear your take on this as well. But we in Seattle training. Uh, we we stopped to uh watch March Madness at the bar. So we watched the March Madness at the bar, and some like some table in there sends over us over some appetizers and some drinks. They like, you know, the waiter come over. We in Seattle, obviously, but B Wags is Goat. They walk over like, hey, Bobby, uh, they're just saying that, you know, they love you. You know, they just, you know what I mean? They, you know, mess with everything that you do, everything you about. Look, they just said, here's these drinks, here's these food. You know, it's on the house. He like, nah, you know what? I really appreciate it. Tell him I said thank you, um, but no thank you. Uh, go Hawks. I said, wow, that's a stand-up dude right there. Yeah. So we chilling, we watching the game. What? Like 30 minutes later, they send something else. <laughs> You know, Bobby, trust me, Bobby, when y'all meet him, he, he like, look, man, I man, look, tell him, you know, thanks again, but, you know, I really appreciate it, but, you know, I'm cool, man. No, th- thank you, but no thank you. Yeah. Uh, tell him, go Hawks. 
you know, I'm year two. I don't really know. I'm like, well, shit, first of all, this who that? Who? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Second of all, what's the, that's the uh, that's the shrimp scampi. Oh, look, look, look. Swing look with the calamari. Yeah, yeah. With the calamari. <laughs> with the calamari. I asked him. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, and at that time, like, you know what I mean? And like, speed, you know what it's like. Like, when you, because I keep saying, like, it's two different, it's levels to being in the league. Mm. But like when we was youngins and we was working for it and trying to earn it, mm -hmm. when you was next to the guys that was like in the league, yeah. like you get what I'm saying? He Pro Bowl, All Pro, Super Bowl champ, all kind of shit, all decade. He already did everything. Sure. So like at the time, I'm just like, man, I, I said, bro, I would hate to be famous. Mm -hmm. And I forget whatever wise uh, parable he told me. Bobby speak like he uh, Jay Z. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Motherfucker speaking riddles and shit. I forgot whatever he said. It was, profound. It was survive, profound, whatever he said. Learn to live yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He hit me with something <laughs> at the time. But that moment always stuck with me. So fast forward, we just be out. I mean, I'm at breakfast. Chef come out. Yo, Zaire, man, we love you, man. We do, bro, man, keep doing your thing. Wait, what? He reaching over Cairo and shit. Man, That's my God. child. <laughs> Back up. Wait, what? <laughs> Can my man enjoy his strawberries? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this happened recently? Bro, it's like, but it, it happens now. But again, that's oh, what wow. that, that's what comes Hold with. Up. Yeah, that's what comes with the position. So I just want to open up the floor to Speed and just say, yeah, yeah. how do you feel like you deal with the new found? Because I told Speed off mic, like I'm in the airport. First of all, shout out to Brody. I didn't know who you was, mind you. I'm in traffic. Please, like I said, when I'm in Philly, I move very differently. He stopped me at the airport. I'm waiting for my flight back to Indy. He, yo, uh, man, Zaire, man, I love the podcast. Hey, I'm from Fort Worth. Bro, mm. shout out to Speed. Shout okay. out to the trenches. The kid that did. Oh, yeah. The kid that did. Uh -huh. The K I D D. Oh, me. Uh -huh. Yeah, they uh -huh. got it. So I'm like, shout out to that boy Speed. I was turned hey. up. Okay. Shout out to the trenches. Hey, guess what? He's a member. Shout out to the yeah. members out there. Yeah. Yeah. To the hey, members. But like, speak on, I feel like, how you handle that in these type of situations, like, or in situations uh, like that. Shit, I think. <laughs> so I actually had a similar situation. I was at Anthony's and it was three guys. I'm with my lady. We, we, we chilling, we eating. And uh, bro actually paid for the meal without me knowing, though. He didn't mm. say, like, I'm going to pay for your meal or whatever like that. Shh, took a shot of, um, of uh, Louis the 13th Ooh. with him. Bro was, you know, it was three guys. 360 a shot, like ladies so, and gentlemen. Oh, so you collecting your NIL. I've never had that. So, I don't so, know what that tastes <laughs> like. Yeah, hey, hey, it just tastes great. Speed is collecting his NIL. Yo, that's Wait, so then they, they leave. She ain't never had a shot of the Louis 13th. That shit is 360 a shot. Expensive Henny. Yeah, it's crazy. Continue your story. Crazy. So, Boy, so, um, so they leave or whatever like that. I asked the waiter for the bill. They like, yeah, the guy, he took care of it. Or whatever like that. So whatever the meal was, I tipped the waitress. Whatever the meal was. Whatever the meal was. Respect just off the love or whatever like that. So... um. Me, I just look at it as like it's everything that I that I asked for without even asking for it. Mm. So I asked to be the guy, I asked to be this, I asked to be that. So um, that's what come with it. Mm. Like you know what I mean? Anytime you ask for something, it's always downs that come with it, then it's ups that come with it, and it's mm. everything that you ask for. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Within in between. Yeah. So I just look at it as like you know taking the punches as I go. You know, um, I do set boundaries though. Um, if I'm ever in a spot to where I never pass up a child. Mm. Because I know okay. when I was a child, Perry, I always, even even on a, even with the other even team jerseys, rush, even no, even at the other, they got the other team jersey on. Uh, I would give them. I would definitely talk to them. So, I'm not signing another team jersey. Yeah, okay, all right. Thank I'm not signing another team jersey. Hold you take, a picture, but, take a picture. I, look, look, I would take a picture. Look, 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 and, and take a, I'm yeah. not signing another team jersey. Like, right? You signing another man? I don't have yeah. nothing personal against your kid. Please understand that. Exactly. However, if you wanted me to sign something, you should have mm. picked the right team. That's all mm. I can ask. Yeah. I don't ask for much else. I like, blame y'all you know for that interaction that I had at the Falcons game because this man almost got cussed out. Oh, he asked for your foot cam? <laughs> <laughs> no, he walked up with your his phone. I'm on the sideline two seconds. I done seen JJ and Larry. They're like, oh, hey, I'm sitting talking. This man must have came up. I'm with my best friend who's from Atlanta. Mm. He touches me and had this phone up, and I must look to him like my best friend, like who is this? I was like, I don't know, but why? He was, like, oh no, mm. no, I'm a member. Hey, 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 <laughs> I was like, sir, I'm sorry, but you was gonna get cussed out. I was like, you just touch, hey, you can't just touch me. What's up, Jason? Jason, Jason, Jason. I'm a member. I was like, he was like, I want to take a selfie. Gang I was like, okay, shit. come on. Hey, 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 hey murder gang shit. Hey, Twitter gang shit. Killing, killing, drug dealing. 
<laughs> no, I'll speak what you was about to so, say. So, 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 like, when it comes to that, it's, it's cool. Like, I don't want fans to ever be in a position to where they, like, uncomfortable coming up. Yes. Somebody, you don't yes. want to be that guy. Like, you no, know what I'm saying? Because no, no. I know a few guys that had that stigma. I won't say no names, but I know a few older guys that's mm-hmm. retired and don't doing their thing. But they got that stigma to where it's like, when I was a child, it was always like, and, uh, you know, I grew up in Fort Worth. For sure. Dallas, whatever, like that. It was a few Dallas Cowboys oh, where like it was that. known, like, yeah. don't, don't go to up them. to them. Like, don't speak to them because it's definitely going to be a... Get the fuck out of here. Like, you know I mean, what I mean? Lie. A couple guys in our lock. They, people be a little yeah. throw, though. That's yeah. They, like, so, I mean, to to each his own. But when it comes to, like, how you said right. with the fans and shit on social media, bro, I am a block. I'm over. about to say, because he over bro. here capping yeah. Mr. Hey. First of all, I ain't saying nothing. Hey, last look, last time he thing, had though. his Malcolm X uh, fit Big on, I ain't saying nothing about it, though. I let my hands slide. I'm going to let you know. You got people DMing me talking about why does EJ Speed block me? I don't fucking know. Look, this is the thing, though. Me, I like to interact on Twitter. But I like to be regular when it comes to Twitter. I don't want to go make a burn that account on some Kevin Durant shit and be on some nut shit to where I got to, like, get all my shit off. I like to interact. So if you fucking up my vibe when it comes mm-hmm. to, like, mm-hmm. talking down, actually, I will go through other teammates' comments. Yeah. Like, yeah. let's say Z posts something or AR posts something or something. I will go through their comments and, you know, because the interaction is the fun part about what they said. No when question. I see what fans no is question. giving back, sure. you feel what I'm saying? I actually pay attention to what <laughs> fans give back to the team or whatever like that. Yeah. And it's not no petty shit to where, like, man, y'all got to play better. That's cool. Yeah, I totally understand. We all in this together. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all leaving, y'all career spending whatever y'all spent on the tickets to come and support. Y'all won't see a dub. I totally yeah. understand. Now, when you talk about teams' injuries, when you talk about guys – Anything that they got going on in their personal life or anything like that, like, you know what I mean? That's a block. Yeah. Because I know I'm next. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I, to, to your point. To your and point I'm kind of pissed that you said it about my dog. So, sure. like, you feel what I'm saying? For sure. So, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a have to block you just so I can keep my vibe so I can be real on Twitter. Like, I posted something the other day where I was talking about the... Uh, the play that I made in uh, Baltimore. Oh, shit. Where I came out of my cover two <laughs> assignment to yeah, come down. Yeah, you telling me think yourself. About, I, thank God I was off. Think, about, think about Chill. if I had the negative fans on my, I can't even be real. Yeah. Like, telling himself in the off season. So <laughs> it, <laughs> it make it look like it, I'm telling on myself when we got negative fans, but like, yeah, you know what I mean? Now I'm talking I, gotta, about yeah. some shit. I block all the negative people, yeah. so the positive people come up and they like, I ain't see no pass interference there. My dog. <laughs> no, gang. The, what, what I did want to say about that, though, Speed, and I think that you doing that, or I guess whomever may be like kind of like talking about it or mentioning like, or oh, that I'm blocked or whatever. I I would just say that you understand the value of that conversation. Exactly. I feel like people like to your point, speed. Like I feel like if people be like saying, "Oh, you blocked me, or you did this, or you do that." Like you're not understanding that. Yes, the good shit means something, but the bad shit that you say actually means something too. Like I'm, I'm holding the value yeah. of what you're saying on both sides. So no, I respect that, bro. Because I just want a good vibe on the page. Bro, I do that in real 100%. life too, though. So like anybody I, who negative in my I'm real hip. life, I'm I hip. exit hip. myself away from. I just do it on on, on the um, social media. Platform. In that yeah. sense, I'm a little more liberal. First of all, I'm not <laughs> big on blocking. First of all, like, okay, me That's per a, like, in general. Like mm-hmm. if you hate me, you love me. All y'all niggas get the front show. First, I'm first show. All show. everybody gets the front show. That's just how I look. <laughs> uh, also, too, I am a recovering slash retired unreasonable Philly fan myself. <laughs> so, to an extent, I be kind of understanding the fanatic where they be coming from. <laughs> like you get what I'm saying? It's cause just cause I grew up around it, my timeline is so hilarious. Like. It'll be, you know, speed. Uh, you know who tweeted like, like Kenny. You know what I mean? Colts page, and then it'd be like my three homies from high school. What the fuck is Hurts doing? Like, <laughs> bro, my man got a uh, knee injury. Like, yeah, relax. Yeah, relax. You feel Maybe me? He's tired. Yeah, but... I'd be like, bro, they'd be like, bro, fire everybody. You feel me? So like, that's just what my timeline looked like all the time. So like, yeah. oh, last year, you know how many times I got fired because of the football game? Like I was playing it. Oh, they said fire you? Fire the social media girl. Damn. Oh, my God. God. I got fired hellas last week. Niggas was trying to get you I up know out you was catching uh, strays. Man, Man they was going yeah. in. That's insane. Yeah, you couldn't even bark back. No Man, way. couldn't say shit, but I just went in on somebody for you on Twitter. So you're oh, damn. Appreciate oh. the love. Yeah. Nah, that's... Hey, look, she, What's up? She's a member. Uh, <laughs> no, so, like, my thing is, like, I be kind of understanding, one, I'm not really big on the block stuff, too. I, I just kind of, like, put it in the thing, but... 
I will say, though, uh, to Speed's point, I do love, like, the dynamic in sports now to where, like, you could really just kind of be real with the fans. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I would say probably 10 years, 15 years ago, uh, maybe even sooner than that. Eight maybe years. like seven. Yeah, like saying, seven. I don't know, seven, eight. Uh, sure. You know, you kind of had to be this Mr. You even had to not social media be a complete outlaw, like a complete, like, <laughs> set, telling the fans, F you, damn, mm-hmm. they're getting fines off that shit. True. Or, you feel me, you had to just be Mr. Two Goody, Two Shoes, you know, only post your, you know, your Bible quotes, and you know what I mean? You couldn't really carry it how you need to carry it. Shout out to KD, man. That's it's why he facts. wanted the goats now. I, I didn't really want to get into that early. I do want to talk about the NFL, but KD is one of the greats. Wow. So you're Even saying he though, broke through the social media rant? Of- he changed social media in sports for athletes. How so? Because he was publicly embarrassed so many times with the burner account, with his hair, not brushing his hair. He refuses to brush his hair. <laughs> yeah, he don't. Kind of crazy. Yeah. Uh, and just all the different <laughs> things that he kind of went through with that completely changed the dynamics. Him getting caught with his own burner account. Yeah. KD wasn't the only person doing that. Yeah, that was he wild. was just the biggest superstar that we had to do something like that. Yeah. And it was just kind of like, damn, if KD, one of the greatest uh, scorers of all time, mm. maybe the greatest, gets has the time in his day to come back and argue with the fans, it's cool for everybody else to come back yeah, and yeah. bark back and, and rebuttal. And yeah. he made it, he opened the door for that. For, which, banter, for banter. Yeah, and, for sure. and I think that's just one of the elements of, you know, pretty much athletics that he added to the game, which I okay. feel like everybody could thank him for. You get what I'm okay. saying? Because he, he, to me, he opened that door. So is that opening of the door um, a... Because when I'm thinking, we're gonna about, talk about football at some point. Trust me. Yeah, when I'm thinking, when I'm thinking about it, like KD doing those type of things, the first, the kind of like the first thing that pops into my mind is like LeBron addressing fans during a game, or Russ dress, addressing fans during a game. And what I mean by that is like you're comfortable with saying to someone that's saying, "Hey, fuck you," or like, "Hey, bro, relax. I'm here doing my job." Like, well, I think Bron. Who he is and his stature can only speak a certain type of way. You know what I mean? Okay. Now, Bron is, has done his best. And, um, again, I think it adds to where KD come from because KD was right. just in such a perfect pocket of, you know, having dealt with, like I said, getting caught with his burner account, having dealt with being basically the butt of everybody's joke even during your success once he left <laughs> uh, still a bad OKC. Ass, but... <laughs> yeah, he's still, I mean, KD still he's be on not brushing But hair. it's just, yeah, he's still not brushing his hair. I don't know why he's not doing that. Um, I might swing a brush at All-Star Weekend. Yo, dog here. Yo, take, shout out to the PG County Grand stuff. Torino and, and, and DMV, and look, bro. With the, with, this, the, with the Velvet Jones. Just take it. Don't even, don't <laughs> even mention colors. it. Don't even ask me my name. Colors. Nothing, bro. Just take that. That's on the house. Uh, but... Well, I think you know respectful. some some of us. I mean, well, some some athletes just are in that certain pocket. They just can't speak a certain way because, quite frankly, of their greatness, of the persona that they've already been have been built. You know, uh, it's just a different situation. Like, I mean, Patty can't get on the Mahomes can't get on the on Twitter or Instagram and just get the you know dropping certain words and stuff. It just wouldn't flow a certain way. We would look at Mahomes and either a. Uh, feel like he's pretending. We wouldn't feel like it was authentic, even if that was who he really authentically was. True. Or it would just shock us so much based off of the picture and the image of who he we like the esteem that we hold him in already, like the frame of mind that we already look at him for him to act that such a way. True. It's like he's already been typecast. You get what I'm saying? For sure. So like Bron, uh, like I said, some of those guys have already been put that way. KD, I felt like opened it up even more further than it is. I mean, or further than it was for so, great players. And for players in general to just show and be who they wanted to be on. KD days. couldn't pull a Draymond. Is basically what you're saying. In terms of what? Like, because Draymond like has not been typecasted as that, that individual. Draymond player. is able to do that because of KD. Okay. So look, let me right. ask y'all this then. Think about like I don't know like well we was all in college at the same time. But like think about like did y'all sit down and have like media training as like an athlete? Hell yeah. Right. So we had it for track too. So like think about like so now like. The athletes are still in college. They got a whole new damn. Is that shit the same? Like well, you know, how we sit down, make your page private. Don't say this. Don't you don't. They got a different fans. set of problems yeah. though. Like they got True. all kind. I mean, True. for us, it was just you know, stay away from these major curse words. Right. Stay don't away from say, politics. Yeah. You know, don't talk injuries. But going back to the KD thing, it's like okay, yes, he opened up that can of worms for not like. So is it like 
damn, is it mm. this next I'm generation with, I'm with you. I'm with of you, pros? I'm with you, Jada. I'm with is you, it Jada. like, yeah. damn, we got a whole new wave of something we ain't never seen before? Mm. Like, Well, I would say um, it's twofold for sure. Um, whereas though KD definitely allowed us to be more of ourselves, I would say now it's also a little bit more of a responsibility for the athletes that's continuing to grow um, to show your personality, to be who you is, and you got to walk that fine line between being authentic and then being brash. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because at the same time, like, you know, we've talked about before, and obviously we know, like, we represent things bigger than us. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> I represent Philadelphia. I represent Indianapolis Colts. You know what I mean? Speed represent Fort Worth. He represent Tarleton. Like, we all represent hey, different Bill things. Boy kid. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? On this, on this, you know oh, for sure, So, kid. we all represent different things, and we want to be able to show them in different lights. You know what I mean? Obviously, we've all matured. We've kind of grew through the social media age, so I think that's why we all have a certain level of sauce and understanding. Well, but... Too. Everybody can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Look, what they said, they ain't on you. It's in you. You hear me? You hear me? <laughs> but I'm going to go a step further and give it to the retired guys who created their own, like, platform to mm. talk about the league and what they went through, like Matt Barnes and... Uh, and um, oh, Steven Kevin, Jackson? The Pivot. Um, uh, fuck. What's... Timberwolves. Uh, KG. 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 Oh, Paul yeah. Pierce. <laughs> That's true. Like, you feel what That's I'm saying? True. I love they, they John, bro. <laughs> they gave, like, they gave, like, a whole platform to actually get on that joint and talk. Um, Ocho Cinco and mm-hmm. Shannon Sharp. Yeah. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Shay Shay. Shay Shay. Well, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Yo. <laughs> hey, bro, but you got to, but let me say this. If we're going to hey, get bro. there, you got to make sure that you talk about it in full. Because go there's ahead. a, there's a, um. A timeline. Okay, we're gonna just we're gonna just the playoffs right after this. Yeah, please. <laughs> but I do have to say I do have, I do have to say this real quick, bro, because it's actually been bothering me for like three weeks, couple weeks. So obviously we've all heard, seen Cat Williams on Club Shay Shay. Yeah. Got you. Let me also let me also start by saying that I'm one of the people, as I've said before, football historian. I love Shannon Sharp's career, who he is as a player, and I also love him as an analyst. To be honest with you, I feel like. He in that uh, Stephen A. Uh, skip lane, um, mm-hmm. but I think is authentic to who he is. Especially you know knowing Southern people, how they talk, how they carry yeah. it. He keep it pee with him. He you know he sleep with his dog, all that other stuff. Shout out to Shay. It's more esteemed. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Now oh, he sleeps with his dog. I don't know about that. I sleep with Creed ain't getting in my bed. I'm no, right. Creed really? up. First of all, Creed gonna take up the whole either. shit. Me and Creed gonna be fighting oh, 3 a.m. Oh, no, Zeus and Harry will be off. Yeah, yeah tripping. Yeah, yeah Creed as I damn near, <laughs> Creed really? damn near trying to take over the basement. Look, look, wait, this ain't about, <laughs> we'll this get about shit. We'll get there. Uh, so, my thing is, obviously, he had that interview with Cat Williams. And have y'all seen it? Have y'all watched any that of it? That shit was long. Yeah. It's three hours long. I, I didn't watch it. I watched it. You watched the whole thing? Yeah. Hyperbaric. You know how that goes. <laughs> Watching the full. Hey, man, you what? surprised me all I'm the time. I'm gonna watch it tomorrow. Time, Speed, you just keep no, you on my toes, dog. I did not think so. I couldn't sit Speed through three hours. Speed don't be listening to new, yeah. new albums. Yeah, he he watch a three hour interview. Yeah, Tell him that shit was entertaining, bro. Shout out to Speed. Yeah, Shout out to Speed. Yeah, yeah, out to speed. Yeah, all right, but uh, the kid that did. But let me say this: I watched most of it at least, and love Cat Williams. You know, hearing the backlash from what a lot of people saying sound like a lot of what he said was true. Uh, you know, especially speaking about, I guess, Sad and and Steve and that type of stuff, you know. But my thing is, it's two things. Uh, first off, like has been said before, and this is not actually my main point, but why do our greats got to tear down our other greats? Now, let me just start by saying this. I appreciate the competition. Okay. I appreciate challenging your peers. I appreciate that because it makes us all better. You know what I mean? I appreciate Cat feeling like he, he want to be in them conversations with the greats. When you talking top five, put Cat in that. I appreciate mm-hmm. him saying, look, I wasn't a part of X, Y, and Z because of this, but don't get it messed up. I'm still, you know what I mean? I'm still there. I appreciate him putting his claim down, planting his flag like that. I appreciate that. Okay. But I also just feel like it's corny that, you know, our greats always just tend to seem to want to, like, I don't want to hear, like, like Steve Harvey, look, Right, wrong, whether you thought it was funny, whether you felt like he did some funny stuff with the uh uh Kings of Comedy. Steve Harvey is one of the most impactful black men we have, bro. Period. He is, bro. He's an icon, bro. In what realm? Icon in what it, realm of what? Oh no, nice. I gotta, think about all the things he's this- like, ahead, I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead, go all, speak, all the things speak. that he's done, yeah. uh, uh, like Harvey just so. in terms like, of he's success. A staple. Yeah, he's a staple, staple black like, you man. You know what I'm saying? 
uh, Cedric the Entertainer. These are yeah. greats. These are greats that we had. I plead the fifth. All I'm gonna say is I just don't like that. I don't. That's this is my personal take from the interview. I, that's why okay. I didn't really finish it. Only because I didn't really like. I don't like greats tearing down greats. But that's not really my main point. My main point for my club Shay Shay hate is now that Cat did that. It's cool for everybody to just get on a podcast or get on the internet yeah. and just start hating. Tell that us. shit is yeah. mad corny. Yeah, man. I can see that. But low key, if you think about it, I don't know, it's not a thing, but think about like as black people, we low key, that's what we be doing. I know, but it's corny. Like that shit corny. Like, but just because you get a platform, just because you get somebody to sit there, like now you feel like, okay, uh, Cat Williams did it and he did, you know, 50 million views in two weeks or he did whatever the numbers is. It's some crazy it's interview the year already. It's cool. Uh, I think but he did 10 thing, million in a few days. All right, but that's yeah. lit. And I get that. <laughs> Good for him. But at the same time, so just off of that, now you're going to get your first opportunity to get on there and just throw a shot at somebody. That's corny, bro. Yeah. Like, it started, and I'm going to be honest, like Stephen A., uh, who I see, I see. Uh, Country Wayne was hella corny. Country Wayne, yeah, yeah he you was like, hella you corny. just get on this joint, you yeah, always say that people, yeah, bro. Like, was hella corny. bro, it's just like, bro, it's just a lot of people, bro, and it's just like they just using this opportunity, uh, like RG three too, like RG three, like, and I get it. Look, I get it. Look, With like we said, joint, it's yeah. social media. You know, we get another platform to be who we are. RG three is on TV. I actually, I I could appreciate how RG three carry it because again, I just appreciate people who are authentic to themselves. That's who RG three is. But now I feel like. If it wasn't for that Cat Williams interview and that Cat Williams wasn't so successful, we don't have Stephen A. disrespecting Jason Whitlock. Whether he deserved it or not, we don't have that happen because he knows that type of content is not successful and it's not welcome. We don't have RG3 go just going through all this shit about, you know what I mean? And whether Jay was good or not, shit, I got a couple coaches I would want to air out, but it's just still yeah, like... it's not... Yeah, you know I mean, it's just like, bro, since when did hating become cool? That's yeah. just my biggest issue, like... Let's not do that, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let's keep it more thorough than that. Like, let's let's get back on let's get back on the on the people that held us down in different yeah. ways rather than getting on social media or getting in videos and basically just airing out dirt. Like since when like it's that's telling to me, bro. Like you okay. getting on here, you speaking on private conversations, you speaking on private dealings, like you like and, and all just because you get the first you got you're the first person to speak on something. Yeah. So now you get to tell your side of the story and make this other person look bad. But my whole thing is it's just like, bro, like. Handle your shit like a man, bro. If you ain't never tell that person that to their face, why you get on social media like and all and all these podcasts and all that shit speaking on stuff like that shit is not thorough to me. That's just me. That's and that, totally and that's, not, that's just and that's just how I'm seeing the trend that's moving forward. Yeah. Like let's let's chill with the hate. That shit not cool, bro. Yeah, that's totally understandable. To Cat Williams' defense in the whole situation, Cat Williams, the guy came on on Shay Shay's interview first, and then. Cat Williams came second. Both of them two and were told his side yeah. of the story. Yeah. Based on and he did say, if I'm ever in a in a in the same room as these guys, I guarantee you I will say everything. I, I believe that, that about Cat. Right I believe here. that about Cat. And I believe that about Cat. Now everybody else with the follow-up is kind of weird. Like for sure. You know what I mean? For sure. Just because somebody else do something don't make, don't be so trendy, my nigga. Yeah. Like in anything you do, don't be so trendy. Like that's not, you're not authentic enough. Like that's just not authentic enough. Yeah. To go, but I do respect what Cat Williams did because he cleared up the beef, and he didn't do it in a sense of I'm looking to harm this person or I'm looking to oh, no. do anything to it. He just talked the situation. Yeah, and he was just saying like I don't think like 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 whoever looking at the at the interview on a point of view of to where they looking at it as the drama side, they looking at it as as like oh this person is wrong or this person just less of a comedian than this. I don't think he discredited Steve Harvey. He just told the truth behind how he look at situations, and how Steve Harvey look at situations. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Now Steve Harvey can come tell his side of the story and you can take Steve Harvey's side in that point. But if you watch the whole interview or whatever like that, Cat Williams really wasn't just going at them guys. They were just telling them like Hollywood do this, Hollywood do that, like True. and just telling them the ins and outs. Same thing we do with the football shit. Yeah. Like so he said, an athlete on steroids. Based on an athlete that's not on steroids. I didn't take the steroid route. I took the regular route. The pure route, for sure. The pure route. So my, fir <laughs> my first uh, thought about what, obviously, Kat was doing in that space with Shannon, I actually thought he like, put on a comedy special. Yeah, like, like, yeah, that was my very first yeah. story. I was like, yo, bro, he is up, was funny. He is up here clowning, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like, and he going crazy. Mm -hmm. Everything he's talking about is going crazy. Like, mm -hmm. you can either mention, like, you can... You can feel it by the way that he intro certain topics that Shannon was talking to him about. Like he gave a whole lineup and then went and spilled. But my only my I, I understand. I, I definitely understand what you're saying. Z I, 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 Z, I understand what you're saying. 
I guess my only question is, is that like, at what point is, at what point do you get to say that competition is or ain't competition? Like uh, the the competitive nature of the, the situation between hate and competition. Yeah, yeah. Like when do when do you get to draw the line for that? Mm. I mean, I think for me it's just more so like once you get the airing. Now, like I said, specs moving off a of cat because okay, I, I felt like some of Cat's clarification, like Speed said, he was responding to a lot of things that was said about him. So mm. that's not necessarily that, uh, but it's just more so like you think the cat shit was hate. I definitely think the Kev shit was hate, but I but but I also know that they've been going Shout back and forth for a while. Well, wow! Shout, Shout out to Philly. Philly. Oh, you already know that. That's yeah, a yeah, yeah. that's a fact. North Philly to be specific, legend. But <laughs> I felt like <clears throat> at a certain point, it's just like we're not going to just get on here and just start throwing a bunch of opinions and just start throwing dirt on people. Like to me, that's weird. Like you get what I'm saying? Okay. Like let's l- use our platforms. And stuff respectfully. I mean, to be honest with you, some of my disappointment come to Shannon only because it's just kind of like, bro, like, I really respect Club Shay Shay and the platform that Shannon has built. I also truly understand what that has done for his leverage and business. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, how he's able to use that to continue to move forward in his second career in his life. I actually, I love all athletes that are able to could truly spin, you know, on field success onto something else, whether that's, you know, I know everybody podcasting shit, I'm podcasting, but shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> whether that's Hurts. real estate, whatever, whatever yeah, it is, whatever. I love it. I love it. And I, and I want to consume it. And I love the platform that he built by mm-hmm. himself, but let's not use your platform to just become a situation where people come on there just to get they hate and they some, some jealous, weird shit off to everybody else. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's really more so my point, bro. Nah, I feel you. I was about to say something really crazy, but I'm gonna just leave it alone. Leave say Kev it. out of this. Oh, no, 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 no. I wasn't going to Kev. I was like, damn, you are you trying to basically talk to Shannon about? But that's the him thing, you know. I don't feel else. like I don't. Yeah, feel I just like, don't want. I don't want Shannon to become like. Don't become at, a, a skip. At, oh, mm. I feel what you're saying. Like, don't be like, don't become that. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Because you got real knowledge, yeah. Hall of Fame knowledge. Top three ever at what you do knowledge. True. You get what I'm saying? So like, and we true. come to you for that. Yeah, unquestioned. And you, yeah. and you really, like real, like you from, like you not from the same type of neighborhood I am because we from different places, like different type of environments and shit. I think he grew up like deep, deep south somewhere. Yeah, like in a, uh, in yeah, I yeah, I can't never go to the type towns that he from. Mm. But you keep it 100 from, for, for the perspective that you have. And it's like, we appreciate that. So it's just like, I just, I, that's my only thing. If ain't nobody else gonna say it, I'm gonna be the one to just be like, look, um, just keep it pee, bro. That's all. That's all I'm asking for. Okay. The only thing I can say is, like, even though we pod, we not in that actual field to know the links and measures that it's okay to go to, you know, because like a guy like Shea, he a Hall of Fame in the NFL, okay. so he already got like that natural instinct to be the best at whatever he do. Yeah, I think. So it's, yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't really know how far this media shit can take you or what, what lengths you have to go. Or if it is letting Cat Williams come and get his shit off, as it is creating a space to where all black comedians or all black, like, like important mm. people can come and get their shit off. Yep. Whether Obama has something to say yep. about the White House or if, mm. or if Cat Williams had to say something about the industry That's fair. or or a little baby had to come say something about QC or whatever. That's Let fair. me create a safe place where everybody can come here and tell their truth. Speak their truth. That's yeah. fair. That's you fair. feel what I'm saying? Like, similar, like the difference between... Um, yeah. Like the JBP and million dollars. Exactly. Game. But like, I can't tell you, yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't tell you what to come up, come up here and say. Yeah. That's like you feel what I'm saying? I can't police you in that fact. I think I feel both sides. Now of it I'm acting like because he didn't that know that don't even want to go. Right. He didn't, yeah, he didn't know that. But all I he had was the question set up that 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 yeah. he had, you know what I mean? So go ahead, Jay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. valid what was he saying, because it's like, okay, like if you think about like the media outlets, like everybody else, like the people who haven't been there, like the people, mm-hmm. like you said, like Skip, like people who haven't been in the league, like sometimes you got to kind of do a little, maybe things not the right way, or you got to kind of weasel around and kind of do some petty shit. Like his respect, like respectfully, your career, you ain't got to do all that. Mm-hmm. But then, like you said, like he didn't know he was going to say that shit. You can ask some questions that. and I'll but be in the same, in the same, in the same sense of everything, like, 
if we gonna do this media thing as black people in general, we gotta hit all corners of the room. Like we can't just stick to sports. That's what they were saying with the whole shut up and dribble movement. Yeah, that's fair. Like, nah, y'all stay in sports or whatever like yeah. that. Nah, we gonna come in here into But I think, but so to to your to your point, Speed, I think and that's why I asked the question like before in terms of right, like cat going on, cat going on and talking about the things that he did or saying the things that he say. At every point that he made a point, and he, if he made 30 points, after every 30, he was inciting competition. He was like, well, if a nigga say this, I'm boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Well, you ain't going to get on the stage with me. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, yeah. Kev, or, or, or Kev, you ain't going to put more people on than me. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to do the do. So that's mm -hmm. why I'm saying, like, at what point, because I'm with you on, like, hey, well, if we need a space for black men that are successful to be able to come in and talk about whatever it is, be it an issue in the music industry, issue in politics, issues in co comedy, sports, mm -hmm. whatever, where is the line drawn in terms of it being about competition? And then like Z saying, you're expressing or talking about things that are behind. Somebody in a negative way. I think yeah. where the line is drawn is you, you, can, you can talk about career Things like with okay. somebody is I'm better than you at this I'm better than you at that yeah. You did this to get there And I did this to get there Or whatever like that yeah. The only time you really cross the line To where I gotta shut the camera off Is if you talk about a man's family If you talk about harming a man If you talk about anything like that Now this is totally beyond competition yeah. We're not talking about competition no more We talking about something totally different That you need to step to that man Face to face and talk about So he can react like, you feel what I'm saying? Okay. So I feel like Cat Williams went in there and he talked about, he kept it P. He kept it straight. The business, yeah. We yeah. kept it business. I didn't talk about your family now. I did, I did kind of like, all right, Cat, you tripping when he started talking about all of them got a certain type of wife type and all that wife. type of stuff. Yeah, but yeah, don't yeah. talk about a man's wife on here. Yeah, yeah. You know it, what I mean? It, it, like, it, it did suck you a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that's did. what it was. For sure. All right, but look, all right. Talk to Cat. To football. Hey. Football weekend. What's going on? Uh, great weekend. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm uh, Lamar I didn't win. I didn't win. I lost. <laughs> but I was rooting. I was rooting. This was my first. Uh, this was my first weekend back, back, back on the saddle. You know what I mean? I couldn't. To be honest, I couldn't stop myself from watching the divisional round. Mm -hmm. I did tear it off. Turn the game off after CJ's second touchdown. The first. It was. Uh, in the wild card round over the Browns. Yeah. After after that joint where he rolled out right and threw that bitch <laughs> seventy yards to. Uh, uh, no, Dal Dalton mm -hmm. Schultz, I, yeah, said, yeah. I said, fuck this game. Fuck the game. Fuck the league. Fuck the Texans. <laughs> I'm not watching this shit. I'm enjoying my weekend with my, my girl. But this past weekend, all my hate and my reflection and my decompression and my zen. I did yoga. Oh, wow. So, did you so do hot fun. yoga? I did, I did a little hot yoga. I love hot yoga. Flexible. Pause. Oh, that shit hurt. Pause. You know what I'm saying? I you know what I mean? I bend. Pause. Uh, <laughs> whoa. Pause. Pause. Well, I'm in a relationship. Pause. Yeah, you right. Hey, that don't stop some people. But... Uh, <laughs> No, so look, it was a good job. Yeah, uh, let me let me just think. Uh, shit, you know, obviously Baltimore. Uh, watch Baltimore, the Texans. Um, sure. I'm gonna just say this. Oh, in general, I love. I think my biggest takeaway from the weekend, all games uh, included, I loved how important linebacker play showed up this weekend. Mm. I think in all the games that up you watched. The you first of all, you heard me. Shout out to that boy Greenlaw. Up the market. <laughs> Shout out to the boys. Hey, Christian yeah. Collins too. I'm yeah. fucking with bro. Christian Harris. Nah, is it Collins or Harris? It's Harris. It's Harris. Yeah, it's Christian cool. Harris. Christian Harris. Sorry, young boy, but yeah, bro, 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 bro. bro. Yeah, yeah. Bro, Shout bro, out the game. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, he went crazy. Yeah. Uh. But no, I did love like watching every game. Uh. Shout out to my young boy Derek Barnes for sure. Uh. Of the Lions game selling pick. Versus the Bucks. Shout out to Doggy. I just love that. Like I feel like every year um, of football in general, in general, every year the NFL football in general goes through this phase, right? Okay. You have okay, okay. oh my god, you go right now. It's the super duper fast receivers. You know what I mean? Everybody wants three, four superstar receivers. <laughs> uh, you know, everybody's got so many damn superstar quarterbacks. It's hard to keep count. You know what I'm saying? Especially with Jordan Love ascending. Especially with CJ on the scene. Like, it's just, you know what I mean? Baker uh, reemerging. Like, it's just great quarterbacks all over the place. But do you know, at the end of the day, football 101, it always, always comes back down to can you run the ball and can you stop the run? At the end of the day, if you can run the ball and you can stop the run, you're going to win in the playoffs. And I think... 
That was just a prime example. Um, obviously, just some great play, great games out. But I just would say, in general, my biggest takeaway from watching the game is I feel like linebackers all across the league, <laughs> specifically me and Speed, we made some money just because it was just like, bro, it just showed when you got a great linebacker or a great mm-hmm. duo, For sure. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It makes a huge difference. And first off, what your team is able to do and also winning, you know, games in January and February. Yeah. I feel like it's the middle of the defense. Like, what else do we got to talk about? Yeah, I mean, and it, it just do so middle much. You know, watching Levante uh-huh. David, you know, cover and, and make plays behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah. And, you know, Drive killers. Yeah. Like, it's just, you know what I mean? I, I feel like every <laughs> every so often, you know, the league gets to, oh, well, we're going to just put a bunch of, you know, former safeties at linebacker. And, you know, mm. they're just going to be fast because, you know, linebackers are – uh, mismatches on tight ends. I don't know what linebackers they be talking about. Yeah. Not these two. Not these two. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you feel me? It just be like they always want to do that. They always want to go down. They always want to take a linebacker on the field. They always want to. Now the new joint is they putting five D linemen on the field. God damn, we we got to fight the DBs for playing time and the D linemen for playing line. time. It's getting crazy, on, bro. Yeah. And it's just like, but at the end of the day, as you can see, I, and I also felt like you showed up in the wild card round as well. Like, bro, like, bro, you need. First of all, you need people to run the show, and you also need people to clean up the holes uh, in the front end and also clear shit up so the back end could be the back end and they ain't got to keep coming up and, and, and deal with shit. So, uh, you know, I definitely felt like it was a great game. What was, you know, the games that, that stood out to you? Obviously, Patty and uh, and Josh Allen. That's a crazy matchup. I mean, bro. obviously, that was the crown jewel of the weekend. I actually love that matchup, by the way. Bro. Hey, shout I? out to Naheem. Bro, yeah, shout out to Heem. Because <laughs> if that boy was he, on the field, a member too. crazy. Heem's a member, too. We're going to get hey. Heem to pop out. Shout out to Heem. Shout out to that boy. Shout out to Heem. We're going to get Heem on the show. Uh, but... Yeah, no, that, I ain't gonna lie. Like, it's it's so crazy. Like, I love it. Like, obviously, like, so Candace is, uh, she hasn't missed any of, our, our, of my games since we started dating. I'm talking mm-hmm. about my freshman year of uh, college. Hey. So she, like, no football now. Like, yeah, it's kind of crazy. Like, we be talking <laughs> about shit. It's, it's actually a little wild and shit. She, 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 she a little coach's wife. It's all right, but. Hey. Uh, wait, no, wait, God damn. Me, me, We gonna get into that. We gonna get into that. But, white dress. <laughs> But we in this joint talking, and I'm just basically breaking down. I'm like talking about just the elite level of quarterback in play that was being like played in that Chiefs Bills game, bro. Like, no room for an imposter in that in that scenario, bro. Like, not a space. And I know everybody's killing Josh Allen. You know, what I mean, and honestly, rightfully so. I mean, he lost on the stage, whatever it is. But, bro, I mean, damn. I mean, he was playing his ass off. I mean, he playing at ninety six percent. It's just Patty always at 100. Oh, like, me. always. So it's just so. the three Jones you miss is the three he needed. Like, I feel like I feel like Pat and Josh Allen is the most legendary quarterback duo of the time right now. For sure. I can't give you that. At a time. What? It's can't the most that. legendary quarterback Who you? matchup. It's the matchup. Well, we about to get that at one. We about to Who get that you? one. Who we you? about to get that one. I've been waiting for that one. Oh, that, that eight, eight verse 15. Yeah, because he eight keep, and 15. I, I keep saying people saying Patty and, and, and Josh Allen is Peyton and Tom. I like yeah. that. I don't know if I love that, bro. I like nah. that. Bro. I don't know if I like that, bro. I can't. No. And who is lacking? Because it's not Peyton. Yeah. It's not, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not Patty. Josh, yeah. It ain't, it ain't. No, Patty definitely. So is Josh right. not worthy? No, I don't want to say all that. No, speak your mind. That's what I'm saying. Speak your mind. Because it's already out there. Like, they know you're not talking about Patty. I'm going to say, I just don't think it's as clear cut as it was. So what's before. crazy is. Yeah, no. I think it's more goons and goblins than it was. So before. Pat been a starter for six years and he made it to the championship. That's nuts. Six that's a, years that's, that's in a, a row. ridiculous thing. He stack. owns some the yeah. Warriors dynasty type shit yeah, right sure. now. Yeah, like, yeah. He yeah. owns some bronze shit. Yeah, for he sure. Some us. He owns some bronze shit, bro. But I mean, shit, he keep running it. I mean, I feel like he's shown that, you know, he's run into. A couple other teams in their eras, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? You know, since he caught him, uh, you know, Tom caught him. So, so, did we count Pat Mahomes out this year? I personally did not count Pat Mahomes no. out. I know the media and, you know, all the talking heads probably did, but yeah. I understood what the fuck was going on. Honestly, I was a little bit more scared of him this year than I had been before just yeah, because this year. Pat is always going to be Pat. He's all like, he's one of them players. Like, Pat, I mean, who I'm thinking, like, Justin Jefferson mm-hmm. or yeah, like, Derrick Henry. Like, there's certain people, like Max Crosby, like, 
It's certain people when you show up on I'll Sunday, it's like, look, you can win this game, but understand this player is going to be this player regardless. You got to be You going to double, you going to chip, you going to thump, you going to uh, bracket, whatever. Mm-hmm. He going to do what he going to do regardless. So just deal with that. Patty is the top of that list, number one. But to me, what was scary, they got a top five defense, bro. Yeah. And that shit is like really legit. Yeah. Like that shit, not, McDuffie over there yeah, is yeah, really yeah, yeah. cooking. I and mean, they all they got to do is draft and free, and free agency grab defensive they, players. They, and, and, and respectfully, my young boy Rashi over there cooking. Shout out yeah. to Philly. <laughs> you know, I'm a, yeah, I mean, shout out mm-hmm. to Rashi. He cooking. But I, I, for me, it was just like, I, and while, like watching that Bills game, that Bills Chiefs game, like I saw it early, like first drive, them Chief boys was hitting. I'm watching this shit like damn, like them boys are striking. Like for sure. it's playoff so you, football. They earning a shot to Justin Reed. So how y'all feel about the young boy? Um, Boss, Poka, what is it? Poka Cheek, the the running back. Who? Oh, oh, Pacheco. Pacheco. What's his name? Pacheco. No, 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 no. What's his name again? Pacheco. He said Pacheco. No, 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 no. He said Pacheco. Hey, no, 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 no. Because I'm with you, Steve. Because look, when I said that, it's like Pacheco. Pacheco. Respect to the to the boy though. Respect to the boy Pacheco. Hey, no, he ain't running that joint. Big jersey, big jersey. Because I'm gonna I'm saying I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that you get the mic. It's on you. When I said the nigga Pacheco was crazy, niggas looked at me like I was weird. Why I mean, you being well, weird to me. Though. Now you gonna well, have me go beef with somebody I ain't played yet. Because yeah. I'm trying to. Do it. No, go ahead. Pacheco, go ahead. Did not play yet. Go ahead. He, 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 he a Super Bowl champion. He a, so a closer. Put respect on him. He a closer. I mean, closer. you heard it from the person that I plays in the NFL. Let me just ask you this. I hate this. I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. Do you not think he's Pacheco a top ten running back in the league? That's what. That's what argument was. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Just for what he brings speed. to the team. Thank now, I don't you know. Speed. I don't know how he got. I don't know how he gonna run if Nobody Pat does. Mahomes don't drop back seventy times a game. Like you feel what I'm saying? But for what he is there for, thank bro. Short yardage and closing a game at the end of the. He, he it's doing what it. was said. He doing it's it. What I ain't was said. It. He it's closing games. a lot games. of running backs in the league, bro. It's a lot of guys right. in the league. Now, and I'm a, like, like, is it enough all like, season for what? You got enough time? Can we can we go through? I'm he married. Really that boy married Barber. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to be, trying to be friendly. I feel like y'all gonna have me be. Nah, friendly. he married Barber. He closing. Come, Come on, on, bro. Marion Barber. The uh, the what's the what's from uh, Dallas? Yeah, I know who Marion Barber, Barber is. He closing like that. I like Marion Barber game, but yeah. they ain't never win shit with dog. <laughs> well, yeah, you, I ain't gonna even diss, bro. Who, who they? No, uh, no I'm not dissing. We just speaking on facts. Yeah, but they got Pat Mahomes. I, I mean, my thing is, I, look, I, I think obviously he's a good running back. I uh-huh. mean, he's making plays. He's mm-hmm. like, again, he's a Super Bowl championship. He might be, he might have two of them shits. For sure. So let me just put respect on that. But what our argument was is we were talking about just like, you know how we always talk about the new era of the running backs that are coming in this league. Yeah. And while I do think he's a part of that, uh, I think it's just a little different. I, don't, I just don't think he's asked to do what everybody else is asked to do. That's my only thing. Like, now, Again, that's to to the to Speed's point, and what I said earlier is mm-hmm. why I felt like Kansas City was just as scary, if not more scary, this year is like I just said, they were a top defensive unit, top five in the league True. that stopped the run mm-hmm. and they ran, ran the, ball. the ball. They really were a running team all year. Oh, I'm to saying. really be honest with you. And Pacheco just, been there. We but going. The, but yeah, but the well, he missed some games, but I ain't going I ain't going to hate on dog like that. But what I'm going to say is is just I just don't like it like it when you talk about the like 10 other running backs in the league, there's 10 guys that you're going to put you're going to take before Pacheco. But that's, that's just because of Patty. But I'm saying because Nah, I don't think Patty in a way of that. I'm well, it's it's I don't think Patty I don't think Patty in a way of him. I I understand what he's saying because he's mm-hmm. saying like Based on what Pacheco have showed us already, it is ten running backs that's way crazy to him. I think, yeah, bro, they just I got think bro from uh, skill sets. I think bro from Tampa, uh, number one. Yeah, he got okay. game. I think you know he got game, but he right there in that Pacheco range. I'm too. taking Pacheco over him respectfully, but I, but I, he do got game. He got yeah, game. I think he right there in that Pacheco range too. But Pacheco haven't. Haven't had the floor to show us what he's capable of. I think, That's why I said. I Patty. think you would give him. You would give him if he if he had a, if it was a if it was an opportunity where he had to run the ball. Let's say thirty. You know where they where they 35. ran the ball twenty five to thirty times a game. Okay, and he showed us that. And he'd be like, all right, yeah, he cool. Boom, boom. It's just hard when you always got that threat of Patty. I mean, it's just like it's just like a lot of things. Like you know, what I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like when we got Anthony in that quarterback, shit is a lot more open in there. Bro. So you think Kerr? So you think Kerr was 
was was was lesser of a basketball player because he had Jordan on his team? Yeah, I think his legacy can only grow but so far because he has somebody so dominant on his team. That's what I think. I feel I, that. All right, go ahead. I feel I that. No, I'm, I'm saying. I mean, I, I know it's not that. fair. I know it's not fair. It's but It's like a Clay but, and, and Steph Curry type of thing. Clay is a way greater player than we give him credit for, but, you yeah, know. You Steph said is. Clay is a greater player than we give him credit yeah, for? I think so. Yikes. Clay, Steph was there. Clay can go. And Clay don't have the ball. Clay is one, one of the top three point shooters ever, and he's an all defensive player. All right, so can I, Clay is one of the was when before his injuries, he was one of the best. He was probably one of the top, if not the top. Not one of the, he wasn't the top, but he was one of at least the top two way players in the league, bro. I give you that, but this is what I am gonna say to you, just based on like the comparison of it. And please don't shoot me. I just feel like this is a fact. We would be seeing the second coming of Ray Allen for the Bucks if Clay had his own team. Saying that he would have been a great player who had yeah. a lot of success and yeah, individual yeah, things and yes. then would have had the later, once his the athleticism faded, he turned into a spot-up shooter. Shooter. Join a great team and just become an integral piece for somebody. Like a Danny Green. Yeah, because like, cause respectfully, That's like, That's Clay stepped into who Ray Allen was and just supercharged that bitch. But he never was the Bucks Ray Allen. He never touched that. Like, his yeah. own team. Fact, but I do want to talk about that, uh, this matchup with Josh Allen and... Uh, Mahomes. Mahomes. And Mahomes. Do you, we think this is the greatest quarterback versus that we in in the last four years in the NFL? Who yeah. else better do we want to see besides Josh Allen and and, uh, and, nope, and nope. Pat Mahomes? Well, oh. to be honest, Lamar and Mahomes. You want to see the Lamar yeah. and Mahomes? Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. But we haven't seen that matchup a lot. I know, I, but I'm like, like, it's going to be isn't a, the, well, nah, isn't fuck the that. Allen, Anthony matchup. and Mahomes, bro. Like, real rap. Right. Bro, yeah, Patty. <laughs> okay, no. you said the past And I don't care years. what you got going on. I'm watching nah, you got State like Farm the, commercials like and the, T-Mobile commercials. Yeah, I'm hating all that. <laughs> but guess what? Yeah, Anthony, he on you. Yeah. I'm Anthony, yeah, Anthony, I'm Anthony CJ. That's what I'm looking forward to. I'm Anthony to. CJ. Yeah. Anthony, Anthony CJ. Yeah. Anthony, Anthony CJ, yeah, bro, that's going to be, that's gonna be the match. And I'm, I'm glad that I'm going to be a part of it. Yeah, for real. That's going to be fireworks. Yeah, we got it. Because I'm stepping. I, I roll in. I'm talking about I'm in bed 8 o'clock that whole week. I roll in to make sure our young boy win. That's like, that's I got to make sure, bro. And I'm in the stands talking all shit. So y'all better hit his ass. Yeah, you got to bump his family or something. Better hit him. Come up here like this. Wait till AR start doing backer flips and shit on these. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> no, but, no, I definitely, yeah, I definitely I feel like that's 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 the, the been the matchup. That's been mm -hmm. the premier like battle in the league. And and the crazy, I'm watching the game, bro. And uh, I'm telling Candace, I'm just like, bro, like, don't get it fucked up. Like, it's all pros, pro bowlers on both sides of this Question, field. Like, yeah, you know I mean, from Micah Hyde and Joy Poyer and uh, who I'm thinking about. Uh, you know, what I'm saying Chris Jones out there, mm -hmm. like McDuffie, he going crazy. Uh, it's guys on these fields, yeah. but it don't matter because the quarterback play and the decision making by them two dudes for that whole game, bro, was just so elite. It really didn't matter who else was on the field, bro. Mm. They was just making decisions after decisions, bro. Bro, that one play, I, and I talked to Speed about this earlier, uh, or I don't know if he was in the training room yet, bro. But it was just it's just one play, and it was like third quarter, and. I think it was a third down or whatever, and, you know, they had them on schedule, like, third and six, and you could tell Buffalo was about to blitz. Buffalo was blitzing. Um, you know, Patty kind of caught them. All right, cool. And 99% of quarterbacks in the league at that point, right. yeah, they're going to check, all right, where are they blitzing? We're going to throw to where they just left. We're going to replace right there. Or we're going to, you know, you know, hit the flats or you feel me? I have my answer to their blitz. Right. Patty said, fuck that, and kept the play on. He beat the blitz himself and bombed that shit like 60 yards. And I'm just like talking to Candy and I'm like, bro, like, oh, bro, there's like four people on this earth that can do that. Mm. Like that, that, like that. I'm not checking out of nothing. Oh, if man. you come after me, me personally, like, yeah, no, I'm I mean, gonna beat you. yeah, I'm a, I'm a, look, I'm a protection. Make sure y'all get him. I'm a step up right here. Huh, huh, step up. Bomb on the money, and it was just like, bro, these dudes are just playing like at just such a different level, bro. Like, mm. it's just like you watching that game, and you just like, man, like, who, like you literally just watching, thinking like, damn, whoever get the ball last is gonna win. And yeah, so I guess I guess what I will I will ask is that like to Speed's question about the last ten years, is that is that the marquee matchup? 
I the only reason that I am questioning is that because I'm thinking about the other players and what I'm mean about players like the the cast that they have involved. Is it as high as it used to be? You know, like with Peyton and all he had, Edge, Ridge, Marv, like going crazy, Freeney, like uh, that, all, everybody going crazy over there. Like, is it the same? I don't, I don't think, I think we look at the legacy of Ridge and Marv and all, and, and <laughs> Ridge and Marv, and, um, and they got their legacy and it's very important and all that type of stuff. Yeah. But you know, this is a quarterback driven league. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Okay. So like, that's the, that's damn near bigger than the than the logo. The quarterback can damn near be, you feel me, right it, there it with all, the logo. Rise and falls yeah, when you find a franchise quarterback, that's what we draft them for. Yeah. Okay. Like a franchise quarterback. So yeah. I think <clears throat> even when when Tom Brady and Peyton Manning had they matchup, it was other quarterbacks in the league that was still going crazy. Yeah. It was Mike Vicks. It was other you Shout know. Shout out to Phillip. You know what I mean? I texted my dog Phillip today. Phillip. His son was all American. Shout out to Gunner. It was it was hella, it was hella uh other quarterbacks that they match up. But this matchup solely was like so you're not counting Burrow in that? Nah. Joe Joe took but Patty down though. But that's my Yeah, he did. And there's other guys that take Patty down. I'm not discrediting another matchup with Patty and another quarterback or another matchup with Josh Allen, another quarterback. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying this court this this matchup has been every year. Yeah. This matchup is watched. Even when they beat, even when uh when Josh Allen Pat Mahomes hate to lose him. Yeah, yeah, oh, when he, when he yeah. beat him in the uh, regular season. In the regular season. Yeah. He Off that play. hated that shit. You feel what I'm saying? He hated that <laughs> so, shit. He, I'm talking about he took the fine. Yeah, like, he let's hated. do it. Like, and I, I feel like Pat not that type to like complain about like calls and shit. Yeah. So I feel like when that he shit did, got pissed. under his well, yeah. ear. Because <laughs> <Well, laughs> he, he understand what's at stake. Devastated by that shit. He understand what's He would rather lose to anybody else but Josh Allen. That's what I got out of that. He took it personal. Because he was going to the playoffs. Like, you yeah. feel what I'm saying? I ain't like, ah, oh, that was the game but, for the playoffs. Woo, woo. So then my, my yeah. question to you, Speed, is that what is special about, what is special about that matchup? Because I mean, those are the two quarterbacks that they play. I think they got similar play okay. in my eyes. I think, I think if if it's not Pat Mahomes and Pat Mahomes style of play, it's Josh Allen and that style of play that can mm, mimic yes, Pat Mahomes. Yes. And they so so the mm-hmm. only person that can take Pat Mahomes place as, the as what he brings the prototype yes. is Josh Allen. Yeah, I agree. The only person. Hundred percent. I was just telling Candace last night. When you look at how they're building or you know, <laughs> uh I guess, yeah, building the quarterbacks of the future. Okay. I see the Pat Mahomes 2K build and the Josh Allen build Mm -hmm. as the two prototypes of the type of quarterbacks that are coming in. Okay. You got Mahomes as, you know, uh, I would say not, you know, the typical uh, height and, you know, dimensions of, you know, your traditional quarterbacks. You know, quarterbacks used to have to be 6'4", tall and white. You know what I mean? That's pretty much, yeah, that's in in your pocket. You know, he's, you know, they're kind of a little shorter. You know what I mean? More mobile, but they're not runners necessarily. They're elusive. elusive. Um, they got all the different throw angles. You know what I'm saying? They're creative. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, they do that stuff out. You know, I'm thinking of Caleb uh, Williams. Okay. I'm thinking of uh, Jordan Love. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm thinking of, um, you know, diff- those type of quarterbacks are kind of in that in that mold of how uh, Patty plays. Yeah, they are. No. I think AR is more Josh Allen. See, Josh Allen is that different big 6'4", 6'5". Six, six, yeah, yeah. This motherfucker, he, look, look, he might, he 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 can run. He way like faster that, than you yeah. actually think he yeah. is. And to be honest with you, he might lower his shoulders. Like, you really got to tackle over. this motherfucker, Yeah, you got to hit that you boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he and that, well, now, Cam started that mode. I'm thinking more Cam Newton. Josh Allen, uh, like I said, who else? Then we AR is in that mode. School me, uh, was McNabb anything like? Oh, McNabb, McNabb Mc, more? First of all, don't disrespect McNabb. McNabb was on the cover. Nah, of I ain't disrespect him. I just gotta know. Q's legend. Yeah, Syracuse legend. I ain't watching. I ain't legend. watching too much because I was too young. McNabb, McNabb, McNabb battles was actually with Vic, but he always won. Bro, yeah. yeah, watch him. Out. He did. Watch him. Out. He always won. Come on. He did. Hey, bro. He we got to We got to Hey, we got to do the research better, on that. <laughs> we got to do the research hey, on that because he also. I'm, 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 I'm not going to do that. 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 He had Westbrook. Vic is iconic. Vic is iconic. You got Westbrook. He had Ward Dunn. We, we, just, we just did all Ward Dunn shit. We just did all the Ward Dunn shit. Shout out to Ward Dunn. We're going to get back down. Wait, it's still on me. I already know you caught that shit. 
Z just said, "I'm a look." Z just I'm said that say. McNabb was better than Vic. I, <laughs> that's I was Speed. Saying. Thank you, Speed. I think he just said, "Y'all trying." He used to beat Vic. He used to beat Vic. I watched the game. No, no, fuck that. I watched the game when when. The Falcons came to this Philly nigga, for, the, uh, for the for the for the for a playoff <laughs> game. I don't know if it was divisional or what. Divisional. And they was talking greasy before the game. Algie Crumpler was talking greasy to my man B Doc. And then my man B Doc put his ass down. <laughs> Dumped him on his shit. NFC then he scored a pick game. six and then he took the damn uh Pylon, he picked it up and he spiked that shit. And that was the, the rawest shit I ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> That's why he liked this, y'all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why he liked yeah, it. Bro. Yeah, so shout bro. out to B Dog. That's bro, crazy. Bro, shout out to B Dog. Shout out to the bro. Yeah, man, the old head bird. Shout bro. out to Trotter. Respectfully, bro, it was goons and goblins for that Philadelphia team. Yeah. yeah they had Vic, got Javon Curse. It was Vic Crumpler and Boyd. Boyd Dunn. Dunn. That was three. It was name a defensive nah, player. For nah, that, nah, for nah. Didn't they have uh White? Didn't they have Roddy White, Roddy White, they had Roddy White. Roddy White. Roddy White. Roddy White. He, he was late. late. Yeah, Roddy White came late. They had somebody over there, bro. Yeah, get name, they name, had name, over there, name bro. the offense, defense, oh, name him, defense, name him. Who? Keith Brook. Name him. Yeah, I don't Brooking. remember. Yeah, I think Brooking was over there. They hey, had a line. They had a five. Over there. Did they have a corner? They safety? had a safety said, too, Somebody, bro. They, bro. Had, they had guys over. Bro. Oh, look, no. here niggas go. Name him. I grew up in Philly, so I watch Philly games. I don't know. And when I play Madden, I just the names. Hey, please, 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 like, please, uh, please double down on that. The names that he named. Who had that tight end? It was Philly. Algie Crumpler. Already said it. Algie Crumpler. Yeah, Algie Smith. Shout out to the names that he named for Philly. The names he named for Philly are Hall of Famers. You name it, all the famers. Yeah, yeah. Vic, that wasn't that wasn't Vic style. Vic, it was Vic and Ward Dunn and Crumpler. All right, bro. Mm -hmm. McNabb had T.O. for one year, bro. Don't Who do else that. He had a receiver. What you mean? Who else he had a rece at receiver too? I'm Who not, else I'm he had a receiver? I, I give you that. I, you don't know. I, no, I you don't. You had to be a Philly homer to know yeah, James uh, Thrash mm -hmm. to know my man uh, Freddie Mitchell. My man, double. That's what yeah, you used man. to do? The discount <laughs> double check? Discount double it check. was before discount double check oh, came okay. out. Aaron Rodgers actually stole this shit, but that's what Aaron Rodgers be doing, but I'm going to chill on that. <laughs> I ain't uh, there. Yeah. I ain't starting that. We ain't yeah, going but, that yeah, Well, but, technically, uh, McNabb's numbers are better. <laughs> yes, sir! Better than who? Bro, we need Jay to drop, bro. We need Jay to drop. We need Jay to drop out of here, bro. Well, this is just regular season stats. Because please understand that my man had to do a little him in. You want to know past completion? Before he came back. Yeah, no. McNabb's stats are all better in every category. Wow. McNabb might have played longer, though. He did. You know, my yeah. man, my man Vic yeah, had to do a little bit. Yeah, he had to do a little bit. Uh, he had what, what, yeah, he uh, what had my man said. He had a little timeout. What movie did Get Richard die trying? I got to pay some respect. You know, I got I to gotta pay a debt. <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure. <laughs> but yeah, it's I not like my man. Except rushing touchdowns. I know that. For rushing sure. touchdowns I mean, and rushing I yards. Y'all I mean, not going to do that to Syracuse so legend. Uh, I'm not going to do something like though. Y'all know that. In Philly, Syracuse, we're not going. I'm not going. I'm set <laughs> of death. I'm, I'm on that side. So before you even ask me, I'm on their side. So don't even do that. But, yeah. but even though Vic was supposed to come to Syracuse, though. True. But back to speed He was committed though. to Syracuse. Is McNabb nice. in that same archetype as Josh Allen? I would say, I would say McNabb. His play style was more Mahomes just because, like I said, he was a little more undersized and more of a creator. He could run, but as he got older, it just became more of a play extension. McNabb was undersized? Uh, I think, well, I don't know. I know how tall he is now, but I'm just saying, like, they not the typical, like, prototype yeah, to the... prototypical quarterback. When I say undersized, I'm not trying to say, like, they all, like, short or nothing like that. I'm just saying, like, undersized in a sense. You know how quarterbacks, if your hand size not a certain – you feel right. me? Right. Like, okay. you know what I mean? They didn't draft CJ because he didn't pass some tests that we never heard of. So, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. like, it, it, they just be critiquing like that. But, you know, back to the Mahomes and Allen thing, I think it was kind of a battle of the guard. Like, like for example, like, Patty, you know, he's a type that, you know, step up, avoid the pocket, and, you know, run and do a bunch of things. They run QB power. With Josh Allen. Yo, like, he power. I'm talking about, like, inside the tackles. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like he run he and did. really huh, and go forward. Like they run, yeah, they run shit yeah. like that with him. Like it's a little different. Like he when you got a quarterback where you can do off. stuff like, yeah, like Vince Young, like mm -hmm. that type of mode of quarterback. And I just feel like it's just that that battle of the archetypes. I guarantee if, if Josh Allen was uh, the superior one in these matchups and he was winning, you know, consistently, if he was three and over Mahomes, we so would let's be, do. We would see, we'd be seeing more Josh, Josh Allen's Allen. coming out than we'd be seeing Mahomes. So let's okay. do this. Let's. Um, so we put Lamar in a situation. We put 
Matt Stafford in a the situation, then you love Stafford. Stafford, Stafford. <laughs> I'm a huge Stafford fan too. Right? Stafford, he, said, he said I was nice, so I'm cool. You put Stafford, and then you put. He said you were nice. And under Stafford, yeah, I was a good player. so under Stafford, <laughs> I put um, bro from uh, Detroit. Um, oh, Jared Goff. I Jared put off. Jared Goff under Stafford. Like you talking about? Are we? We're talking player First off, mold player trees. to player to mold tree, like quarterbacks to mold tree. Because I don't every other player is every other player, but like I would put Stafford and Goff. And you would put yeah, I would say that's very similar. You would put uh, I would say Pat Lamar's Mahomes, like Vic. You would put Pat Mahomes and um, Jordan Love. Pat Mahomes with Jordan Love. Yeah. So you wouldn't put Pat Mahomes with uh, Josh Allen. Are you talking about Matt just putting them the in a column? Are you talking about not matchups? saying that talking about uh, in a column same, of how they play alike? Same of how they oh, play, play alike. Same, play alike. Like like prototypes to how they play alike. They style on the field or whatever like that. Nah, I think Pat Mahomes and Josh Allen got the same style on the field. Am I bro. tripping for saying Aaron Rodgers? Josh Allen just take uh, more hits. Break that down. Why do you say that though? Because all of both of them step up, and when they step up in the pocket, they keep their eyes down. Both of them are mobile enough to get down the field for a twenty yard game. Mm-hmm. Both of them got the arm strength to throw it deep and do whatever. This is golf and they, Stafford. This is this is this is Pat Mahomes and and uh, Josh Allen. And Josh Josh Allen. Allen. Okay. Both of them just creators. I agree. They I create their plays. They don't just drop back. Like you can call a play and whoop you whoop. They gonna call us and then they gonna create a play. You are gonna be like, God damn. Yeah. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? I think CJ. I think CJ and don't don't bash me for this. I think CJ is in that same column with Pat Mahomes and Josh Allen. Because he leaves the pocket and he okay. rolls out and he makes okay. plays. Okay. I Hold think on. CJ is in that same column. Hold on. That's just me. Hold on. We done gave a whole lot of CJ love in here. Nah, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not saying he was great. Hold on. Hold Look, on. Hold I'm not on. saying, I'm not saying he was great as them because he got his hold own on. style. Hold on. But I'm saying. No, he's not. He's not. So who do you put? I actually get a lot of hate for this. I done told you this before. But I actually think CJ, and I'm just saying play style, it reminds me more of like a Dak. That's that? how they play. I can because see that. CJ is not a runner. He's like. He's mobile enough. That yeah, was actually that. his biggest yeah, knock he never coming passed out of college. Of yeah. He never passed on the And my scrimmage. only yeah. point to your Mahomes Allen uh, uh, point is, is just you run a different set of plays with these type of quarterbacks. Like, for example, Mahomes with his different, like, release points yeah. and his, like, natural creativity, that's when you why you doing all those, like, fullback shovels, why you doing – you know, all like he just yeah. throwing the ball, Toss going to move, moving yeah. forward so much. Yeah, Josh again. Allen, because he's a big guy and his arm strength is like, he throwing that bit 70, 80 yards. Like, yeah. you doing different shit with him. It's, he could really, he does he does more of that uh, max protect, just really, I'm like, I got a receiver who, he may not beat you at 40, but shit, mm-hmm. he might beat you at 70. And I'm going to put that bitch on the money mm-hmm. at 75. You know what I mean? And also, you not running quarterback what? counter with Mahomes. So I put, all right. But they're just as valuable to the organizations, respectively. All right. With that, I put Bryce Young with Russell. Plan style. Okay. That's not a knot. Russell was a legend. Yeah, yeah but you know with all the bullshit that been going on. Russell, yeah, Russell, with his name. Russell, Russell, and then and what? who you put Deshaun with? D.Y. Ooh, yeah. shit. Who you put Deshaun with? D.Y. I was going to say Patty. But I could be wrong. Who can I put D.Y. with? Because he a different. What's a quarterback legendary? Because you already put Vic. You can Now we can go into legendary quarterbacks. We put Vic and I mean, it Lamar always got to be one for one. I mean, I guess there's different. I mean, history repeat itself. True. Like, Let me ask you this. You know, Gavin actually asked me this. And, you know, we're going to move on from the QBs. But Gavin actually asked me this today in the uh, training room. And he was saying, uh, "If who are the quarterbacks in this league? That regardless of whatever team they're on, um, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, from New England to Chicago to whatever team they were on, that team is immediately successful, at least winning, you know, seven, eight games, regardless of what got on. I'm talking talking about no weapons, no defense. Like, regardless of what they got going on, they go, who are the quarterbacks that you're going to say? Three of them. Obviously, you're going to say Pat, and obviously, we're going to say Josh. I think we all going to agree. And Lamar. It's three of them. Lamar? Three of them. That's the only three quarterbacks that I can say you can place on E32 uh, teams and he right makes now. them both. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait. All right, all right, hold on, wait, wait, wait. So I could be I could be overstepping with this though because of the talent and roster that he had. Stafford's done it. He has, but not enough. I'm just saying because he had a whole stint with, with Detroit with Staff, that he didn't get done. My only thing with Stafford is in his prime, and he was cooking over there, and goddamn, he did everything he fucking yeah, could to, to do that. 
he wasn't able to really lead them to success. Now, let me run. They had a different level of dysfunction and shit going on. Wait, wait, there. wait. But we said eight. You uh, you said you said specifically so at least playoff eight. contention. At least playoff contention. Yes. That's what I'm, I'm all right, let He's me move done to it twice. Contention. All right, okay, you said Stafford. That's not Stafford fair. I, I got Stafford just well at this at this point in his career. I got, but I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I think you get Stafford a receiver. He gonna make some shit. Shake, yeah, give yeah, him yeah. one. Just give him one. Yeah, he gonna one, one, one motherfucker. That's all right. He gonna make I it shake. Take one time. Yeah, that's, that's all he needs. Speed not to your to your to your list speed. That would be the only one for me. That I, I think I, we I, need I, to I put more that. respect on Joe Burrow's name, bro. I really do. I think y'all not respecting well, Joe Burrow enough. Ice in his veins. Yeah, I think we gotta put more respect on Joe Burrow, bro. Uh, I know, like I said, he, you know, he talk about that perspective. He always that. had a great talk. receiving quarter, so I can't really. Yeah, just... talk to me, bro. Talk to me. <laughs> he's bro. a dog. Not he's a mediocre receiving quarter. He's, he's a dog. always had a great receiving quarter. Yeah, he always had. He's a dog. From hey. college to But is that his fault? I'm saying. It's like... not his fault. But we just saying, like. Bro, I think, I think an underrated uh, trait in quarterbacks, and I think people are seeing this with Tua, is that mm. it's a talent to make talent look good. Yeah. How many times have we seen quarterbacks be with great receivers, great running backs, great defense? He'd be like, damn, how did, if only they had a quarterback. Well, that's a talent. That's yeah. a talent. He may not be the elite of the elite, but he's good enough to be able to get put in a situation and make it shake. Yeah, true. I, I agree with you. I'm, so, throwing, I'm, throwing, I'm throwing Joe Burrow in that conversation. So then, I, to be like, with you. so then I ask you, what are you saying is the difference between, respectfully, because Joe been in the league, what, four years? Uh, I mean, even when the second string quarterback got in, he made some shake with. I'm, I, I was about to ask, like, what, what's the difference between Joe and Dak? Joe went to a Super Bowl. Yeah, a lot. Joe went to is a that Super it? Yes, yeah. that's, that's the big that's difference. That's what we playing this shit for. That's a huge, huge difference. Yeah. In the, in today, that's a huge difference. He went okay. to Super Bowl because if had Lamar lost that game to CJ, they would have they would have destroyed his reputation. Okay. Oh, absolutely. After all that contract stuff. So, oh. But him just going to the Super Bowl uh, validates a whole lot of stuff. Wh- whether it's right or wrong, I'm not saying I agree. I'm not saying that that's how I feel. Yeah, but just based off a of media narrative and how that always plays out, him making it to a Super Bowl is going to validate. It's the same thing that people say about Embiid and Joker. What do they say? Well, first of all, I really hated how they talked about that matchup. First of all, Embiid be Baking Joker shit every time they play. <laughs> every time they play, he be baking his shit. Bro. Every single time. I've never watched them two play against each other and thought, wow, Jokic is a better player. Every time I watch it, I'm like, wow, this un- out of shape uh, seven foot Serbian dude can't check this nigga. <laughs> That's what, I, that's, what I, that's what I get out of this. Come on, America. Look, oh, I, what I said, I'm, a, I'm a, a recovering, unreasonable Philadelphia fan. So, you know what I mean? Call it what you want. Still but, a 60s fan. Yeah, but it is what it is. Uh, but, I mean, I, like, I'm watching the game, and they all like, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, and has got 47 with 10 assists, even though they always say Jokic is a better passer. He had more assists than him when he played, but it's cool. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, you know, they say, oh, yeah, well, you know, even though Embiid's playing out this mind tonight, I mean, it doesn't matter if he doesn't win in the playoffs. And, like, while I agree that, you know, it's at that Embiid's at that point in his career to where, you know, you got the MVPs, you got the All-NBAs. Now, look, we need them rings to talk talk to us, bro. Like, we need to get to the conference finals, you know what I mean, to justify some stuff. I don't like that, like, you know, when they played against each other, first of all, Jokers didn't stick Embiid. Which I thought was weird, but um, I don't like that. Like if say like if Embiid would have played Joker and Joker would have outplayed him, they would have said all kind of negative stuff about Embiid. But they let all that shit slide, and it's cool for Jokers because he got a ring. Jokers don't even like the NBA. Yeah. So what? Oh, look, so this is one thing. Because he big. This is one thing. This is one thing that I, I think do want to make sure. He keep coming back. It's a fact, a fact. He getting paid. That's he he's like, like, going to give you he 300 million. Yeah. He just hey, 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 he go over there and just drink and party. He, like come out. he do not he care playing, about the NBA. He be playing an era like all he needs is his horses and a... Sound like Pittman. In a crib. <laughs> family. But if you need all your horses in, in crib, you got enough money to you have know, horses in You know Pittman got an alpaca named Clarence? Pause. When did he... I think it's Terrence, bro. No, he had two. He got Clarence and Terrence? He had Clarence and Terrence. What happened? But I think uh, Clarence was the one he had originally, and he kept beefing with Terrence. So then he got rid of Clarence. So I'm like, that's not thorough. But how do you pick which one you get rid of? Rid of. <laughs> yeah. Y'all don't want to know how I pick get rid of the animals. Pit. I know, but I'm saying how. He get mad at me for saying shit like that. Which one? He, he didn't get he mad does. at me for saying I'm paying narratives about him. That's funny. <laughs> 
<laughs> what you saying, Jada? How do you pick which one you get rid of? I, I don't know. I think Clarence was This is a Clarence? conversation you need to have with yeah, I think Clarence, yeah, I think Clarence was on some next yeah. shit. Shout out, to, shout out to Clarence I, and Terrence. But what, what, I, what, what I will say to you, bro, is that, like, you got to understand that with the... With the league, oh, I feel like it was just with the NBA, with the NBA in general, like the changing of the guard always comes down to winning and playing <laughs> styles. Like MB will never, ever, ever be able to be in the same conversation as Joker in terms of like, oh, jo- he's what MB does will beat Joker. Because of the the way he plays basketball, like it's not like Embiid play like Dennis Rodman, so it's never gonna be like oh shit, like he got more rebounds than him or he did whatever. No, Joel Embiid is a proficient scorer at six eleven. It's no seven way. Two. Seven, I'm sorry, at seven two. It's no yeah, way in hell. Amen. I'm just saying, like it's no way. But when people look at the game, it's gonna be like yo, bro. It's no way in hell that Nikola Jokic should be able to tie Joel Embiid's shoes. So when I hear what you're saying, it's like, oh, he scored 40 and 10 and people still comparing the game. It's because he's not getting Joker the fuck out of here. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm explaining that to you. Uh, bro, I hear me. Hear, hear what it's, I'm it's saying the, to you. Yeah, my thing it's is, it's range. never nothing he can do, bro. It's just like, I feel and like Unless he get him, unless he. something he can do. He can win rings. Thank you. That's what I'm saying to you. Like, how many rings Luca got? Let's take it right there. Win, damn it. How many of the rings Dirk got? What? What? It matter. It matter. Is, it matter. I, I thought Dirk was American for a split second. Then he beat yeah. LeBron. And he, he beat Bond. Dirk got a black woman, though, so Dirk really with us. Yeah, yeah he, really he can us. come to the cookout. You know, he yeah. was in the D. I don't know about the cookout shit. I don't like giving <laughs> he up He used to show up. Did you see hey, the hey, thing with hey, Will and Foil? Hey, hold on, hold on. Will Compton, bro, stop he bringing up that race game, bro. Yeah, like, oh, that shit was funny. Yeah, it was cool. It wasn't funny, though. Yeah, like, no, it was. We got some clips on that shit. It was cool. But look, stop bringing that shit up. Let that breathe, bro, because y'all taking it somewhere else. Every time a white boy cookie, hey, y'all. Look, we got a corner coming. Like, we bro. got a swan. Like, bro, yeah, that was let, so like, last yeah, month. Let's, let's relax. Two bro. months ago, look, bro. Yeah, I already told you before. You was getting real crazy with your yeah, rhetoric, brother. It's not even happening no more. <laughs> yeah, let's chill out, man. Not yeah, thank you very much, but uh, yeah. It's not happening no more. Yeah, bro. but yeah, no. like, I, don't, I don't know. Like, I just like, it. like I said, is it fucked up that it's like that? Yeah, yeah like 100%. Yeah, but like when you talk about MB being that, because he is. I think that MB is very much the, he is the, Front runner or second coming. I think with the NBA, it's oh, all about rings, up. bro. Because there's yeah. so many. Like LeBron has set the the mark statistically so far. Yeah. The only thing you can do to top anybody in this NBA thing is just rings, bro. Rings. Just go get you a ring, like yeah. Just finish the tournament. Yeah. Well, I mean, if he win the, you know, if the Sixers win the in season jump next year, it could be something. If the they win the season tournament, yeah. bro. We're get still that shit talking the fuck about that. <laughs> Who win in preseason? That's crazy. <laughs> Hey, they give out. Hey, you tripping? They give what if they out, give out a trophy for preseason? You tripping? They give out trophies for the. You get a ribbon. Uh, you get a ribbon for the uh, joint in Vegas. Let me stop for if I get an idea. I don't they know who watching this. What, give it out rings. They give so, out rings. What so if they do the preseason like a little mini season? Don't care. Don't got it. Don't got it. I don't got it. Boy, you gonna be out there. I don't got it, bro. You, bro, they them folks gonna put oh, you, you out for the league. <laughs> what? Yeah, you right? Because I you think we ain't got no control. We ain't got no control. We out there. Yeah, we out there, bro. I'm yeah, giving my heart. Yeah, nah, come on. I'm playing hard. I'm gonna too. really be mad because like that 18 yeah. took everything I had. Dog. I ain't going hold you. I'm watching the playoffs. Like I know that. I still like. Could I could I still run it to him? Like, 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 I'm finally starting to get all the rhythm back and like I'm, I'm starting to get back activated. I'm, I'm like, damn, I ain't know my mode. arm's supposed Swear. to all, go all the way up like that. You oh, know what oh, I mean? Man. Like I'm just I'm still shaking back. I'm yeah. like, damn, could I still run into him? I'm listening to Tory. I can. I can. Just for show. I can. I still do one. I am. Stop I'm listening to Tory Lanez right now. Like I'm. Whoa. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. All right. I'm full off season mode. Don't play with okay. me. Okay. All right. But I'm two weeks out. You need to you need to tune into the 21, bro. Yeah, we need to y'all. We need to tap into the music. First of all, Jada be capping like she a Barbie. She ain't a Barbie. Okay, but now I am because that what album you, Nikki was or raw. Cardi? <laughs> huh? What you, Nikki or Cardi? I'm really not a uh, diehard of either, to be honest. Neither. But that Nikki album, Barty, Barty. That album go crazy. Yeah, man. Hey, uh, Jada, you go to strip clubs, right? No. You don't, you never been to strip clubs? I have been. Shout out to Tootsie. Okay, so Ooh. Tim, when you go to strip clubs, do you tend to go natural or BBL? Half and half. Oh, oh my God. What? Oh, He's my God. Saying, God. Team Starbucks, nigga. The beast. Nigga. The beast. <laughs> <laughs> the beast thing, look. The, beast, the natural. Look, bro. 
Bam. The natural beak sting up top, BBO at the bottom. I'm a half and half bro, guy. Lemonade, bro, bro, lemonade bro, and iced tea. Bro, on, the lemonade bro. with the iced tea. Man, the kid that did. <laughs> the kid that did. The lemonade the with the iced tea, did. bro. Bro, you're hilarious, bro. He said you a Starbucks nigga. Yo. <laughs> hey, they, hey, look, look, look. Niggas gonna feel me in the comments. I'm team natural, respectfully. Yeah, definitely. That's how I'm carrying Cap. Yeah, yeah, touch that, some yeah. BBL oh, in a like, strip yeah, club. Man. You feel Is like you got moves? bamboo. Show me the C-section scar. Show me. Let me what? see it. You touch the BBL in the strip club, you feel like you got bamboozled, nigga. Like, I yeah, heard it doesn't move. Feel weird. Yeah. Shit, hit back. Skag. Like this. But like does it this. hit back hard or does it like? Yeah, leave a little sting. Team trip, team trip, team trip, team trip, team trip, team trip. Swear. Uh, thank you for kicking it with us. Uh, I know at some point we were supposed to talk for, but we did enough. Hopefully, mm-hmm. um, keep tuning. We're gonna keep going, man. We got a lot of stuff in the works, baby. Hey, hey, Team Lamar, you heard? You heard me? You heard me, Team Lamar? Get me Put it in. Out. Get me in. Hey, look, you ain't been culture. knocking at the door, you heard? But our coach. Hey, look, well, let me in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, turn sir, it up. Look, Baltimore, man. turn it up. Baltimore, bro. I turn it up. Bro, oh. part of you want to take a day off, I need it. <laughs> <laughs> look, yeah, look, I need yeah. that. Yeah. Look, I need yeah. it. Look, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Shout out to you. I definitely, who y'all got? Who y'all got right now? Super Bowl picks right now. Winner. Damn, Super did we winner. just say Super we was winner. Team Lamar? Super Bowl winner. We Team Lamar? Lamar. Yeah. Jada, Lamar. 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 Where you at? We need it, bro. Where you at? Go. For the Honestly, culture. Because right they can't get Lamar. him more. Lamar got to get Lamar? Lamar? We all Lamar? Yeah, yeah we all Lamar. I'm going to Detroit. Fuck y'all. I'm going to Detroit. Nah, I'm going to Lamar. But if I wasn't going to Lamar, I would definitely go to Detroit, but. Okay. 